Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, today I pay tribute to a shop that's been a favourite for many in Launceston, Barrett's Music. All my <laughs> <laughs> you know. The Barrett family started in retail when James Barrett Sr. opened the clothing store Barrett's Corner in Rook Street, Devonport, in 1894. It would later sell pianos and organs. In 1904, his son James bought the business, and in 1924, he turned it into a dedicated music store called Barrett and Jocelyn. The business was moved to its current site in George Street, Launceston, in 1937. Pianos were the main items sold, but accordions and mouth organs were also very popular, and the shop also sold second-hand books and music boxes. One of James' sons, Cyril, returned from World War II in 1945 and went to work with his dad. Cyril bought the business from him in 1949. Music was always quite a family affair, as Cyril also worked with his older brother, Dave, who was an accomplished piano repairer, tuner and polisher. Both had trained as piano technicians in Europe. Dave had a workshop upstairs where he worked with technicians for many years. As well as musical instruments, the store was selling all manner of things at this time, including audio equipment, fridges and stoves. Dave was in charge of the workshop and Cyril ran the sales division. A big part of the business at this time was purchasing and restoring old pianos. And today you can still find old piano parts and tools inside the building including the hand winch they used to lift the pianos from the adjacent laneway to the top story of Barrett's. That area is used today as a piano showroom where you can test drive pianos and electric pianos. In 1954, Cyril's son Rob finished boarding school and joined the family business. Sometime later, Barrett's was sold to Allen's Music. During this time, Rob was appointed the store manager. The business would return to Barrett family ownership in 1966. Around this time, Barrett's became a Yamaha organ dealership, and since that period, the business has established itself as one of Australia's most successful Yamaha dealers. Mark joined the business in 1991, and he bought Barrett's music off Dad Rob in 2001. When asked about what advice his dad gave him when he took the business over, Mark says, Dad and I were very different, and much of the advice he gave worked for the way he ran things. He could be quite a stickler and I'm more laid back. The main thing we agreed upon and practiced was that winning a customer is about making a friend and then maintaining that relationship. It's good business, but it makes the work environment a fun place to work. And clearly it's a fun place and a great place to work. One employee, Cheryl Masters, has worked for Barrett's Music for more than 40 years. Cheryl has worked for Cyril, Rob and Mark, and she's the business's administrative and print manager. One of the Barrett family's philosophies has been to show strong support for music in the community. They do that by sponsoring many music prizes, including an Australian Music Examination Board prize in Tasmania and others for St Cecilia Performance Challenge. They encourage local music making and run clinics for members of the public where well-known musicians come to play and speak about what they do. These clinics regularly get at least 100 people in attendance. A major event held to celebrate the store's 80th birthday in 2017 was a rare and vintage guitar and amplifier show. It's estimated 1,000 people came to see this to a vast array of spectacular rare music equipment. Mark says many of the drums, guitars and amps on display were the type that the Beatles used in their heyday. He says the George Harrison Telecaster we brought in for the show is a limited release made by Fender USA. It's unusual in that it has a rosewood body. George Harrison played one like it at the Beatles' final concert. It's one of only 19 that came to Australia and is destined to become quite a collectible. As regards brushes with fame, Barrett's Music has organised numerous clinics where musicians from around the north come to see top musicians perform and talk about their musical experiences and approaches. These include Mark Lazotte from Diesel, James Morrison, Michael Barker, a former drummer for John Butler, George Lynch and many lesser known but fantastic musicians. In an online interview with the ABC Northern Tasmania in November 2017, Mark spoke of what the family business has come to mean to him. I love it more every year. Every day is more fun than the day before. I pay tribute, Mr President, to the Barrett family and their staff for the rich contribution they have made to Launceston over more than 80 years and I wish them continued success for the future. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Murchison.